Good day, everybody. Tuesday, June fourteenth, and we're taking a look, another overall look at the ocean conditions in the Northeast Mid Atlantic Bight area in the canyons, from Massachusetts to Virginia. And what do we see here? We see sea surface temperature. The warmer water in your reds and oranges, your cooler water in the greens and blues and yellows. So what happened this weekend and over, so this imagery is from uh, over the weekend through this morning. What we see, what we've noticed, the highlights, there is a counter, no, sorry, clockwise rotating eddy off of Tom's Canyon. There is a another clockwise rotating eddy off of oh Spencer to Linden Cole Canyon. We do have some rotation down here off of counterclockwise flow off of Poor Man's in Washington, we believe. So what's been going on? It's been pretty good tuna action in this warmer water. We're up to 70, 71, 72, maybe 72 degrees now. And a lot of guys have done really well with tuna, especially in the um, Linden Cold, the Spencer Canyon last week, Wilmington Canyon over the weekend. And that water's down to Baltimore and Poor Man's now. There's even been Mahi and blue and white marlin spotted in that water. I'm not sure if anyone's caught anything yet, but we I think there has been a few. So this water inshore now, we're up to 70, 69, 70 degrees. Um, down here off of Virginia, we're up in the mid 70s already. And so there's, there's gonna be fish moving up in here at a higher volume here, probably really soon. So what we have out farther east, we got a, a what looks to be a counterclockwise rotating eddy here and a clockwise rotating eddy there. This water is up to, I believe, 72, 73, something like that. And so there's going to be some decent conditions coming through off of Block Canyon to Hudson by the weekend, hopefully. Atlantis Canyon, this, this water, I think again is 70, 71 degrees offshore. This inshore water is still about 64, 65, 66, 67 degrees through here. So things are starting to warm up. We got some warm weather coming through soon. So the water is really gonna warm, which will bring in the fish closer to shore for you all and over the canyons. When we continue to look out east, this is what we're going to keep an eye on probably all summer. Well, we had a, we had a bit of clouds this past two days, so it wasn't crystal clear, but we've got a counterclockwise eddy spinoff from a giant clockwise warm core Gulf Stream ring that this, this stuff, again, is going to start migrating to the west. This stuff is shooting down toward the southwest, west, southwest. And it's gonna be this water here and here to keep track of all week for Father's Day weekend to see where that stuff is by the weekend. Um, things are starting to heat up guys. So get offshore, give Ross a call. Um, visit our website, www.rofs.com. Let's take a look at the ocean, the corresponding ocean color chlorophyll image of this, of the conditions. And we see a lot of blue green, blue green water now starting to clear up some blue water south of the fishtails and offshore of Hudson Canyon. And things are starting to clear up a little bit, which we which would be indication of some um, you know marlin action starting here real soon, getting the higher populations up in this area in, in late June to July. Take a Look farther south here, we, there's, there looks like some decent conditions off of Oregon Inlet, North Carolina as well, Virginia Beach. Gulf Stream's up to 81, 82 degrees now. 
so yeah, there you have it. And I hope everybody has a happy and safe and fun Father's Day weekend. So happy Father's Day to y'all. Stay tuned.